Did the Dolphins bubble burst? This question should be asked not because of their back-to-back -back defeats, but because of the injuries to quarterback Shauna Sullivan and Anthony Milford. The Dolphins were barely injured in their stunning three-game winning streak to kick off their first season. Read, serious concerns, Fans wreak havoc in GP chaos, red NRL solution to Latrell abuse scandal explodes, read dogs, clutch, game steals, epic gold points win. But the NRL season isn't a sprint, it's a marathon, and there have been questions about its depth since the Dolphins announced their 30-man roster. Heading to Townsville to fight the Cowboys in another Queensland derby next weekend won't be easy. Haas in career best form it took several years. But Payne Haas eventually realized his full potential and became arguably the most devastating striker in rugby league. The huge boost started season in great form and was main reason Broncos moved up ladder. Watching Haas against the Tigers on Saturday night was like a man against little kids. When he made his try, he smashed the defenders like flies and also gave 143 meters and five interception timeouts. Haas has been accused of missing out on some games in previous seasons. But 2023, Haas has been fantastic in each of Broncos' five games and aims to place the team top four. Shining Haas destroys Tigers' extraordinary Warriors won the Warriors' spectacular 32-30 win against Cronulla last night is cited as one of the most remarkable wins in the club's history. Never known as a resilient team for more than 80 minutes, the Warriors came back from an early 20-0 gap to an unforgettable win. The game had it all controversy, drama, momentum surges in another great ad for the NRL in 2023. On his return to Shark Park, veteran Sean Johnson pulled off one of his best plays, giving a try, setting two more, and kicking the pressure penalty goal that broke the 30-all stalemate. Players stunned at bizarre Sinbin St. George Illawarra's striking form reversal the Dragons returned 58 points in six days over the weekend. Crushed by Cronulla in the previous game, they responded with vengeance and knocked the Dolphins down 38-12. And the unsung hero of this beautiful victory was propeller Blake Laurie. On a team with great offensive weapons like Ben Hunt, Tyrell Sloan and Zach Lomax, you don't see the chunky front rower's name in the headlines. But make no mistake, Laurie is a key man for Dragons and his grunt in middle laid groundwork for big win. Laurie sprinted over 150 yards against the Dolphins and made a try, and although he received little coverage in the papers, he is greatly admired by his teammates. NRL highlights Dragons, Dolphins, round five, should the golden dot be thrown away. With scores locked at end of match, points-sharing debate gained a lot of momentum after Epic at Mudgee on Saturday afternoon. In one of the most entertaining matches of recent years, Sea Eagles and Knights finished 80 minutes with 32 all. The score remained same after extra time and there were few complaints that the teams shared two points. Neither side deserved to lose a great game of football and for the 34 players involved, every single point was a great result. Old-timers don't like the concept of gold dots, and you can understand why after the great game on Mudgee. Knights score points on Sneaky Blind, try how did Melbourne win? Storm's 18-10 win over Souths was one of the most remarkable results of the 2023 season. The Southerners held the ball, won the field position, made more running meters, twice as many interceptions, had more clearances, to tackle less, missed far less tackles, and still lost. A big part of Storm's daring win should go to goal line defense, the South beat line multiple times and could take half a dozen tries. But desperation defense and last resort struggles from the Storm gave them back-to-back -back wins for first time this season. The Southerners entered game as absolute favorites, but the game again served as a warning never underestimate Storm. Munster, at the end of the great trial Canberra beat in the Raiders' engine room, is as good as any in the game, when they're all firing, but they were way out of their pace against the Panthers on Friday night. The Panthers smashed the green machine in half as they charged for a 53-12 win. Tip, 
Ricky will get his tackle bags back at practice this week. NRL highlights Raiders, Panthers, round 5 Panther gun sounds Isaac Targo turns into a real offensive weapon for the Panthers. In Canberra's 53-12 demolition, Targo was uncontrollably hot. Fast center burned in two tries, had three line breaks and one try assist. It's fueled by the creative work of Nathan Cleary and Jaram Luai in it, and it looks like it's going to experiment more with this campaign. Winger Sunya Taruva also shines in Panthers' back row, making first two tries on Raiders' route, she doubled her first attempt in senior class. Walker stars for Roosters Sam Walker's long pass proves to be one of the Roosters' liest offensive weapons. Walker's 30-meter Wally Lewis-like passes were one of highlights of the Roosters' 28-20 win over Eels on Thursday night. His cutting balls were particularly effective when Eels beat a man in the sin box twice in first half by 10 minutes. They got Roosters leading 16-2 into the timeout, a lead Eels could never rebound. Young is maturing well and is proving to be the perfect barrier for classy Luke Key. Key finishes long-range rooster trial, 